Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris and I am bringing you my second process video for the month of November for Build-A-Page. So today we are going to be doing uh, this game night layout. I have two photos, one of my grandkids playing with a giant checkerboard and another one of us at a restaurant. This is from a night that we were actually um, babysitting for them and we had just had a fun night of going to the playground, riding on our golf cart and also um, playing, you know, this giant checkerboard and other games and then going out to dinner. So I'm using this um, paper from um, Echo Park and the first thing I'm going to do is mat the two photos onto this kind of geometric star shape um, paper. Um, I like the white background and then it has like the starburst in yellow and blue which is going to bring in all of our colors. I'm going to give it a bigger mat. So you're going to see here I'm just going to go ahead and cut it down. And then I'm going to mat the whole thing on the navy blue, which is going to make it all stand up out against the blue paper that we have for the background. And I'm just going to, again, trim it down. Now I did cut apart two cut aparts. One was a journaling card and another one um, just said family night. I'm going to end up only using the family night one. I tried to use... Um, the journaling card one too, but it just wouldn't fit in with the design that I've got. The other thing I'm going to do is take one of these six by six uh, paper pad, cutting uh, two pieces down at two and a half by six. That's going to just give me a little pup of red, which you can see in the colors of the boys shirts and the checkerboard. And it's just going to pull in more of the coloring. Also, um, I'm going to use one of the foam stickers, which is the inspiration, and use the word let's eat, which is going to pull in some more of that red as well. So here's where I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to um, make the top one a little bit smaller so that the family game night sticks out. I don't want them all to be even. I want it to have a little bit of variation in the size. And so um, I'm gonna pull that in and then I'm, I'm just kind of uh, balancing that, um, the photo square and the red so it's kind of centered on the page. So now I'm deciding where I'm going to put the good times and I decide I'm going to go across the bottom of the page. I'm going to angle the word fun so I'll have a title of uh, fun family uh, good times and here's where I bring in that let's eat. I have the word score over by where they're playing the game and I'm just now going to kind of start building my clusters so I know that I have one cluster is going to be where it says let's eat. So I'm going to pull in the other half of that um, restaurant um, bill receipt. And I'm going to have that along with the Nicole Jones cut apart of the um, viewfinder. Along with uh, the little tab that says happy that I pulled out of my die cuts. I'm going to use the other Nicole Jones uh, cut apart of the um, like the um, circular te uh, label along with one of the sketchy cameras. I'm going to use the enamel um, triangles to kind of point at the sketchy camera and then I used one of the foam arrows to point at the word fun and threw some of those enamel triangles on top of that. And then in the bottom, I'm going to have another sketchy camera along with two of the foam arrows pointing at good times. I also use some of the enamel um, uh, triangles. They're pointing at good times and that used up all the that blue color. Now I'm just going on to the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and I'm going to add the word uh, family time above let's eat. I will have um, below family game night, word champs and game on. 
and then below the arrows over by uh, the good times I have game night and below good times I have memories. The last thing I'm going to do is go through here and put some of these enamel um, dots or gems in each of the corners and scatter them throughout and uh, that is going to be it for the layout. I really like how this turned out. It's got a lot of different um, shapes and um, textures on here with the enamel triangles and dots and the foam stickers and used up some of my die cuts that I pulled in as well. So here are some cl um, close-ups for you. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Come on back tomorrow and we will have another process video for you using one more of our page kits. Have a great day and thank you so much.